Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and welcome to my channel. This is my first YouTube video that's not related to classes, so thank you for joining me today. And today I'm going to be talking about everything that dealt with installing these Sun Glaze twists. The happenings, the struggles, and my tips for installing these in 4B4C hair. To start off, first I washed and deep conditioned my hair. Now use whatever products that work best for your hair, but for me personally, I use the Shea Moisture Shampoo for thick and curly hair. And I deep conditioned with this deep treatment mask. I deep conditioned overnight, surprisingly, because I hate, hate sleeping with wet hair, but it worked. When I put them in, it was a bit of a struggle. Next, I detangled my hair, of course, which was really, really, really tough. That was like my number one struggle, hashtag number one struggles. And it was only because I hadn't tangled my hair in about a month, so as I was tangling, I put it in the two strand twist, which didn't really help me at all, <laughs> considering it was so tangled. But I still recommend doing that for 4B4C hair since, you know, our hair can tangle really, really easily. I decided to install the Synaglease twist two to three days later, and I started in the back and I still had to detangle again because my hair was woo, crazy. So I used the King and Curly Knot today, and I figured out it was a really good detangler for my hair type. So um, I detangled, not the well, I detangled the twist after I um, took the twist down. And I just smoothed that in and it just detangled it really well with my white tooth comb. I just went in and there. And after that, I took some of my African Shea Butter and put that on there. And since I was just having so much trouble detangling, I just decided to trim my hair because I just had knots on the ends and I figured that's why I was having such a hard time. So I, that's a tip that I also suggest is to make sure your hair is nicely trimmed so it just won't be as hard to do. And after that, my little sister found some gel, so I recommend the gel because it just helps blend the synthetic hair in since it's such a silky hair compared to 4B4C hair, so it helped a whole lot just to make it look more natural. This is the third time I've put Senegalese Twist in my hair, and this is by far the best it has ever turned out. The only reason I say that is because this time I actually decided to part my hair. Now, I know that sounds weird, but I never part my hair. So when I tried to, my hair literally rebelled against me trying to part it. So <laughs> it was just a bit tough. And that prevented it from being really, really gappy. Another reason I say it turned out really good is because they all happen to be the same size. So I started in the back and as I was grabbing each piece of hair, I made sure all the pieces were the same size. So the size of my thumb. I would have the KK braid, which is the brand of hair I use, and I will pull each pull each strand about the size of my thumb so i guess the biggest tips that i have for doing this style is to have clean hair moisturize it detangle it and trim it and honestly to endure you need to have a lot of patience when you do this style because 4b4c hair can be really really frustrating especially if it's really tangled so if you don't trust anyone else to do it and you just want to do it yourself, I recommend just go ahead and do it. Even if you just, oh, I know I didn't want to do it at first. I wanted somebody else to do it and I could just relax in the seat. But I didn't trust anyone around me to be able to do my type of hair. So the whole time I was just, I had to pray. <laughs> I had to pray to the Lord. And like, because as I was going through it, I was like, is this even meant to be? Should I even do this? But I endured it. I did it, and I think you can do it too, and then you'll feel, you'll feel really accomplished if you finish it. So, um, I think those are the biggest tips that I have to, for dealing with our type of hair. Just make sure you have your spray bottle to detangle as you go. Don't let your hair dry as you're going through it. So just make sure it's just easy to work with, part through it when you can, and endure through it. So, thank you for watching, and those are the biggest tips I have for installing hair and just like really kinky hair. So. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>